Welcome to another review on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Saliba, 83 overall team of the week. Really hype player right now, um, doing amazing for Arsenal. Arsenal is doing amazing overall. So we're going to tell you if this card is worth the price. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe. I'm going to keep doing short play reviews. That's what I'm aiming to do. So this card's coming around 57k. It's pretty expensive for a card right now. I packed them in my team of the week free pack thing that they gave everybody with like the loan and all that. 80 pace center back, 71 passing, 75 dribbling, 84 defending, and 82 physical. He has the power header trait, no alternate positions for him. Um, he's coming at 6'4", so he's really, really tall and medium high work rates too, which is also really nice to have. So like I said, I did pack him in the beginning. So I have them untradeable, so I've used them a couple times. It's coming in with 80 pace, 78 excel, 81 sprint speed. So at 80 pace, that's decent splits. You know, sometimes you've seen cards deal with horrible pace splits, which are annoying. But his pace felt good, 80 pace, he'll do really good with the shadow. I can't say he felt crazy fast or anything like that, but right now I feel like no player feels like super fast. So I think I still enjoyed the pace. I never felt like he was slow for sure. His passing in game, I didn't have any misplaced passes with him. I think as a center back, you're never really expecting amazing passing. So that's important just to know that his passing isn't bad. And then dribbling. So the only reason I feel like a dribbling really matters is if you're playing a high press team and you have no choice but to dribble out of an attacker pushing you. Um, and also his agility uh, kind of matters for when you're like jockeying with him and things like that. Uh, 53 agility, that's pretty low honestly. So, so I think that like contributed to his feeling of heaviness that he had. So he's coming in with 83 reactions, 83 ball control, 74 dribbling and 80 composure. Um, his dribbling was okay. It wasn't anything special. Like I said, he did feel a little heavy when jockeying sometimes. Uh, his dribbling was also a little heavy at times too. I think it just has to do with that agility and balance. But I don't think it was too bad to say like it was like a huge con. And then talking about his defending. Interceptions, 87. Uh, 84 defensive awareness. 88 standing tackle. 83 sliding tackle. And then I think with that I can say he was very solid defensively. His standing tackle, I feel like, I don't want to say it's on him. But he kind of had a lot of moments where he wasn't getting complete tackles. Like you kind of get that bounce back animation where... You try and tackle and the ball just kind of bounces like in the weird little middle place and it'll go to back to the attacker and things like that. I feel like a lot of dumb things like that happened with him. And I feel like you don't want to have that happen with a card that costs you 50,000 coins. But I think he did a really good job of being in the right positions. He was able to, you know, track the striker in the middle really well. He was in position a lot to make a lot of interceptions. So I think his defensive awareness and, you know, positioning was all really good. So yeah, the only thing I really had a problem with was like the standing tackle thing, but I don't want to blame it on him only because I feel like that happens so much with like so many different center backs. It's just like the way FIFA plays, you know? And then physicality, 86 strength, 85 aggression. This I would say is definitely his best stats. I feel like he felt really strong. Um, he bullied a bunch of people off the box for me, off the ball. I mean, he was really strong in game. So I think physicality was the best thing. But yeah, with center backs, it's really easy to have a short review to talk about it because it's really only one thing. How fast are they? Do they defend well? It's pretty much all that matters. And overall, if we're going to talk about if this card is worth it, honestly, I'm going to say no. Personally, I would not spend 57k on a center back right now. Especially for this card, I feel like he was solid, but he wasn't anything special. I feel like I've gotten a lot of use out of players like Schlotterbeck, players like Kalulu. I feel like they did the job for me. I feel like I don't feel the need to spend an extra 50k on a card when cards like that cost a couple thousand. But that this is the Premier League and this is also a very hyped player, you know? That contributes a lot to a player's price being higher. Also, it's a team of the week card. Right now, there's no special cards really in the game besides Kiro's icons and all that. So I feel like special cards are always kind of like a little bit more desirable just because, you know, like the card art or things like that. And also, you know, the drop rate matters a lot. But if you're comparing it to other center backs in the Premier League, people that I've had a lot of trouble with is like Ruben Diaz. He's only 10k. He's way slower than him. But I feel like right now, you can deal with the pace being low. He has 88 defending, 80 physical. I've come up against him a couple times and he felt ridiculous. Like he was impossible to get past at times. That's another card that was crazy. Um... Diego Carlos is only 3k and that guy was insane sometimes playing against him. Uh, Christian Romero, same thing, also another card that was insane. They're not as fast, but I think you can get away with playing a little bit slower right now. Konate, only 6k. He has 78 pace, 82 defending, 80 physical. Basically what I'm saying is for center back right now, early game, 50k sounds a little crazy, honestly. I don't think it's worth it. I know it's a Premier League, I know it's an M for him, but personally I'm not spending it. I think if you're an Arsenal fan, and you're looking for you know your arsenal past present team whatever it's a good card like he'll do he'll do job for you but if you're an rtg runner and you just want a good premier league center back you don't need to spend 50k on one right now i promise you you don't i hope you guys enjoyed the video though 
uh, comment if you have any questions, any other issues you might have with the video, any comments you have for me, things I can work on. Subscribe if you want to see more reviews. More reviews are coming. Comment anybody you want to see too as well. With that being said, I'll see you guys later.